All right, guys, here we go. Aloha. We can get into this drawing how to draw partition walls, corner and partition walls, how to do the layout adjustments for that. Uh, we're also going to show how to get into, um, oh, kind of jumping ahead of the game right now. Yeah, once again, we learn how to do partition walls. That's what, what are you doing today? We're doing just that. Learn how to put in partition walls, uh, layout for that using the formula station, uh, formula for sexual studs, structural studs, to um, get you the proper layout for that. And then you might ask the question, why I'm learning this? Again, everything I'm teaching you guys will be self-efficient. Uh, sustainability concepts as well. Uh, give you the leadership you would need to have on a job site as an apprentice. Also helping you transition into the industry uh, employability skills you'll need to be professional and be able to conduct yourself on a job site without being getting uh, washed out because they say you don't know anything. That's why it's important. And then we move into the how would I know I learned it. Well, you will know how you learned it because if you get it onto a job site, you'll be able to work it, be efficient, uh, be able to re redo these designs yourself. Work on projects again where people come to you they be able to come to you and be able to say yo you know i really appreciate you for what work you've done uh, it really helped me you know see the vision for my ideas also it gives you the benefit of again setting you up for make employment without actually have to jump into going to college or going into the union but you can be using this as a transition until you decide to go to college or get into the union or work as an apprentice of some sort that's when you know you're successful all right, got that out the way. Let's go ahead and move right into these drawings, man. And this particular one, again, I'm trying to keep it short. I'm gonna have several videos of this. Um, we are gonna use the formula like we used beforehand, which is star formula. 16 on center equals length times the width. Well, length times the thickness, right? Spacing plus one equals number of studs. In this case, our wall is going to be 12 by 19. So this will be 12 feet by, I said 19, 15 feet. That is our wall. We're just going to plug this into these numbers, right? So our length is going to be 15 times 0.75 plus one. All right, so when that happens, I kind of did a math already for this thing already. So you're gonna go 15 times 0.75, need some time to catch up with me, equals 11.25. So we'll just go 15, 0.75 equals 12.25. You're going to add the 1 because, again, it's a for the end wall plus 1. Well, you know that at the decimal point, this is lower than 5, so you leave it, but you got to add your 1. It's 11. You got to add your 1, so it gives you 12 studs. You're going to need 12 studs for the particular wall here. For a 15 foot wall, length, going to be 0.75 on center. It gives you 11.25 plus the 1, and you use 12 studs. All right. Let's go ahead and lay out a, this right quick. Also, got to look at scale. Let's go ahead and do scale while we get it. Our scale for this particular drawing, let's do that as well. The scale is half inch equals one foot. Well, I told you already, our wall is 12 foot by 15 feet. That's your wall, right? So using this scale, we gotta break this down. Let's just kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So 12, every time you go 12 tick marks, 
you gotta go half an inch right until you hit 12. but in this case i already know if i can just take this number divided by two i'll still come up with the same um information so i just like just taking half of whatever it is here so the wall will be here six inches right we're converting feet into inches and that's gonna be seven and a half inches but in actuality this is let's we'll put it a and n because on paper it'd be a half an inch half an inch but in reality it'd be 12 and 15. it's the simplest way to know that you can divide a number by two also when you're doing the stepping off if you're still having a hard time you don't understand that concept you just keep moving half inch half inch half inch until you do it 12 times just keep going until you hit 12 times that'll help you as well check your mouth that's how you check your mouth we'll do it in a second anyway all right just got just out the way now let's do what we do always set this thing up again you want to do your horizontal lines right quick i'm going to come in half an inch burn it on my horizontals first because we're doing horizontals first i'm able to understand where i'm at on my drawings top and bottom half inch again how we do this is why we work on benchmarks that's half an inch all right now i've stated to you in other videos how i literally found out what i need to do already so when i'm saying this when i'm doing this layout already I'm going to go ahead and make tofu, man, because why would I want to waste time and I already know some of the answers already. So again, we're going to step off and do our benchmarks all at one time, set ourselves up for the future. All right, so we know we got to come down, come up in half an inch, which is this line here, back down an eighth of an inch, or a tidal grid, same thing, come up a half an inch, come down a half an inch, go back up eighth of an inch. Oh, I'm sorry, a quarter of an inch. This is actually a quarter of an inch. I'm thinking about the wall already. Quarter of an inch. For a tighter grid. Do it on both sides. Come up in half an inch. Use these horizontal lines as you keep your ruler straight. Come up in half an inch. quarter of an inch, half an inch, go back up a quarter of an inch, there you go. All right, while we're over here, let's go ahead and lay out for our actual um, wall itself. So this, I'm going to come up half an inch up just so I can start my wall section. And I know from this point, I'm going to go up six inches. So I'm going to just count out six. One, two, let's see if I zone a little bit. So again, I, I measure out. This is my title right here, title block, subtitle, I mean, uh, for my subject line. This is my border already. I came up from my border and half an inch. So I can start my sill plate off this. But I'm going to come up six inches because that's the height of my wall already. So there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the height of your wall. Also, again, with the half inch marks, you can go half inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I just counted 12, 12 tick, tick marks, 12 half inch marks, like I told you here, until I hit that and stop that six that's how you check yourself all right you can do the same thing over here but if you flip it around like this like i did a previous video you gotta understand you're working back this way because when you go back this way you'll be on the same level so it's like you're working backwards upside down 
Alright. And you just look over here and check yourself. So come over half an inch. Come up six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Count this one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. All right. These little tick marks mean something. I would put a circle around these things here. So you know these are the wall structure. You can start laying all the tick marks all around and start connecting lines. You can do it several ways to do this thing. Well, we know half our, we working from center. So we can fold our paper in half. Well, let's go ahead and draw these lines real quick. So it won't mess up our lines going across. This is what I'm saying, like you make every step count. If you're thinking ahead of the game, you can start thinking about things that you might, might see mistakes on. And I'll run this back one more time how we got to this point. I know I move kind of fast. Sometimes my brain moves faster than my hands. My hands move faster than the brain. this a little bit. So we already set ourselves up for our future already. Once again, show you how good this technique is. It's folding this paper in half, working off centers. You can able to go ahead and put your tick mark in the center. Anyway, from this point, we're working from centers. So this is 10 inches. You can mark five. five but only for the paper should hit dead center anyway some more tip on there this paper just to check ourselves oh I'm using qualifying questions this is a good thing to use when you have a job site you're trying to figure out Respond back to somebody. Oh, let me turn this paper over. Ask some qualifying questions. There you go. Maybe off just a hair due to the fact that how we fold it will be right there on enough to the center where I'm going to go with my tick marks. Just going to check my tick marks, make sure I'm five each way. Yep, 
Blasting it, right? This might vary too, man, depending on how you do the alignment and you get the fold. So the fold put us right there in the center. All right, just to run this back again. When I first laid this thing out, I knew already that I need to come up a half an inch, down a quarter inch for the title block. I came up a half an inch over my wall, where I'm gonna start my wall at, my sub floor. Uh, sill plate, bottom plate, sole plate, bottom plate. Then I went up six inches, because I know my actual scale is, right here. Half inch equals one foot. My wall is 12 by 15. I already know how many studs I need. I got 15. I have uh, 12 studs going in this wall. And then, so I just make all, mark those all out. Then I waited to do my, I can come over here now from this center mark, go out my equal distance on this one to be uh, three and a quarter, right? Because you get taking seven and a half taking seven and a half half of the actual uh, wall section and put it in inches so you go three and a half from this way and three and a half this way all right let me see if i'm missing anything with you guys that's about it let's go ahead and finish out put your name down here today's date is the ninth Looking at period here, um, we're gonna call this inside corner post. Let's zoom in very quick. Inside corner post, outside. You know Put your name down here. All right, and date goes right here. All right, let's get right into these drawings. So, this point, let's go and lay out. Let's just lay out our marks right here. Run this kind of long. You could lay it out on, let me do this. Let's do the border real quick. Let's put it on our border. Let's go three and three quarters each way. I'm actually going to put it on the six. It's easy on myself. I'm going to go three and I go three quarters more. And I'm going to go to my nine and then go three quarters. And all together I should have seven and a half, just like that. That's how you use the math you already know, but then you use your measuring tape, a ruler, check it out. So I went six, I went three inches this way, and I went three inches away, there was nine, and I added three quarters to it. All right, let's do that on the bottom. Again, I took the six, and I just went three quarters, three, inches plus the three quarters because I know my wall is just that with the nine and three quarters tally up to be seven and once again seven and a half that's how you check yourself all right turn it around these are our how far are we gonna go I'm not gonna go past this wall here. So in this case, I'm gonna 
come up here. Start it right here. Come on down here. I don't want to go past. Let's try one more time. Let's just we can do this. Come across here. So we know where cross to use that. I know for my benchmark right here, I'm gonna be right in here somewhere, but I'm running my line kind of long, so I can catch my dimension lines. Set myself up for my dimension lines. Racing on top of things, kind of eyeball it there. All right. Now we can bring our lives up. So I'm kind of tall past my line because I know I had to come down and catch my bottom, my bottom um, and top top plate. All right, good. All right. So at this point. Let me bring my line up onto my center line. Then we're gonna move on from there. All right, so let's start laying this thing out. We know we gotta be 15. We know we're gonna be 15 feet. Let's go ahead and move what we know already. From here, we got that. We going okay. So our measurements on this particular one is not gonna be five and five eighths. I mean, uh, five eighths anymore. With this particular one, I've used, I pushed my, uh, my offsets, or, uh, my distance. It's going to be, now I'm going to have um, three quarters. I'm going to use three quarters as my layout. And that last stud, it's going to give me, it's still going to give me 11 studs. But that 12 stud, I'm going to have to offset that for my uh, partition wall. So there's this particular wall, you need to have 12 studs in there. Well, you got to figure out what measurement works for you best. And I realize that since I'm already putting a partition wall in, I'm going to use that extra stud that this structure is structurally supposed to be there anyway and just offset it for my actual um, partition wall corner post, inside corner post. So basically what I'm saying is this. We're drawing this. I got to have 12 studs for my dimension. Tell me I need the 12 studs. We're designing this right here. We also designed these fire blocks, put it in there as well. So all that goes in there. I'm going to offset that two by four that's actually supposed to be there anyway just to accommodate this corner post but again you got to figure out what measurements works for you guys when you come in to lay any stuff out uh you know you might not use three quarters you might use something else it depends on also the spacing of your um uh, thickness of your two by fours you might be using an eighth of an inch represent 16 on center or you might use i don't know whatever you think is best for you but in this particular one i'm using five eighths there but i'm using three quarter layouts all right, so like we always do, I start from the center. I'm laying out from the center as well. So I go 16 both ways. 16 both ways. Again, my layout is gonna be three quarters off center.
all right so every time i step off i'm gonna step off three quarters each way so from the center go three quarters mark it you can go three quarters again like even right there one two three one two three one two three and you got one, two, three, but you got to step back an eighth of an inch until it's the end of your stud. So the same thing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna put that extra stud in there. Let me see if I get this right. Oop, got off already. I start playing tricks on you. Dun, 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 dun. Top, top plate, bottom plate. Why we before we get too far into this? So come up a quarter of an inch. Down an eighth of an inch. Our still still gonna be the same. Down an eighth of an inch. Of an inch, and this one's just gonna be down an eighth of an inch. You don't have to twirl your paper around, but again, for me, it works best for me to work towards me, not against me. you guys catch up see you in the next video we're going to finish laying this out do the same thing you did up here laying this out we'll do the same thing down here laying your studs out all right see you guys in a sec Cheating.